Hey guys and welcome to Skilllink. In our previous two videos, we discussed 1G and 2G technologies in mobile communications. If you've not watched those videos yet, we recommend you watch them now before proceeding further. Just like 2G, 3G also evolved in three different stages. These are 3G, 3.5G and 3.75G with distinct new features getting added at every stage. 3G was also called as LTE or long-term evolution because this technology was developed over a period of years. The basis of 3G was IMT 2000 or International Mobile Telephone 2000 that unified mobile networks across all countries. The two main features of 3G were frequency division duplay and time division duplay. In frequency division duplay, separate channels were used for sending and receiving data. So if each channel had a capacity of one megabit per second, then the entire bandwidth was used for either sending or receiving data. In time division duplay, a single channel was used for sending or receiving data. The sending and receiving was split over a time period. So at any point in time, you could either send or receive data. And another feature of time division duplay was that if you were sending more data than receiving, then the bandwidth allocated to sending was more in comparison to receiving. 3G gained a lot of popularity, which resulted in what is called as the third generation partnership project, which was a collective of nations working towards developing the technology further. The result of this was HSPA or High Speed Packet Access, which came to be known as 3.5G. HSPA was a collective technology that included HSDPA and HSUPA, which enabled download speeds of 14 megabits per second and upload speeds of 5 megabits per second, respectively. Faster speeds and robust communication attracted more people to use 3G. This resulted in network congestion, and this was solved using what is called as MIMO, or multiple in, multiple out, which was a technology dubbed under 3.75G. While 2G antennas sent and received signals over one channel at a time between two stations, the introduction of MIMO technology allowed the antennas to transmit and receive signals using multiple channels between the same two stations. These channels could be encoded independent of each other that allowed more data to be sent and received at the same time. With so much technology packed in, 3.75G allowed download speeds of 28 megabits per second and upload speeds of 11 megabits per second. Another great thing about 3.75G was that you spent only for the data transferred and not on the time spent on the network. 3G was further augmented with the introduction of 4G in 2011. With speeds reaching up to 1 gigabits per second, you could now make video calls and set up online conferences. This was enabled by Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiplexing or OFDM. This worked by setting up sub-channels for signal transmission by splitting up the existing channel. OFDM was quite different from the previously developed multiplexing technologies as the signals to be transmitted and received were modulated. The carrier waves transporting the signals were spaced at right angles to each other to reduce signal interference. If your 4G network fails, then your phone will automatically switch to 3.75G or H+, which is indicated in your phone. And if that too fails, then your phone will switch to Edge. While you might think that mobile technology has reached its maturity, there is still place for more. And this is where 5G comes in. To know more about 5G, stay tuned to our next video.